50 summers, hundreds of group stage matches, 45 single elimination matches. Two champions arose from those tournaments, all pointing to this moment. 14 summoners fight for the right to be called the VBCs, one above all. Welcome to Vegas Battle World. What is going on, everybody? This is the big one. Fintech vs. Legacy number four. We've had three tournaments. Between the two of these gentlemen, they've won all three. Fintech's won two. Legacy won the first one. And here they are in the semifinals. The finals, in a sense, of the champions bracket going up against each other. The winner will move on, as you can see, to face the winner of the Conqueror Deadlands. The loser will move on to face none other than MCL, Marcelo McLinks himself, for a chance to make it back up. We went with the double elimination on this one because the competitors are so good. We had the time to fit it in, and I've absolutely loved this format. I've been thinking about this all day. It's been hard to get this one off my mind. I have not been able to do it, and I'm not even competing. I cannot wait to see these guys go. It will be live in about three minutes. Thank you so much, so many of you, for being here. I can see so many people in the chat already. Truth, comic, wonder pants. What's going on, laser? What's up, Benji? Captain MCL himself. Thank you so much. I believe doing a cast himself over there on Twitch. If you speak Portuguese, you may want to pull up that. The link to MCL's channel is in the description of this over on Twitch. You know how much I enjoy watching him. He puts on a heck of a heck of a show, asked me if he could show it, which I really appreciate. And he's doing that for us. So if Portuguese is your main language, head over there, give him a sub, enjoy that, and have a great, great time watching these two phenomenal players go against each other. Grass MCOC, what's up, my friend? I saw you just put out a video on Silk. I am pumped up to watch it. I saw it go live like about two minutes before I sat down to do this. So it is in my watch later playlist, and I am pumped up to watch that. She seems amazing. Lattice is pulling out of the stops for this one, you think? I think so, too. I mean, I, I really love... I. There's a lot about Legacy. I got to know him well. We were in BG3 together there in Fort Loki for quite a while. Uh, but one of the things I admire is that he stated, he said he wants he wants to be the best. He was looking forward to the live tournament that Kabam will be putting on, the Battle Realm Brawl. And, and that's in combination to the summit. I don't know how clear that's been for everyone. I know some people have been confused. There's a summit itself, which would be a lot of cool things, which is what I think I will be uh, hopefully attending. I should be attending that. But I love that Lags put out the video. He's like, I want to do this. Here's how I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. I love that attitude coming out of him. I love that. I absolutely love it. Uh, this one's going the, uh, the distance, Doofus. I hope so, man. We've had a lot of great ones. We've had some big ups and downs, a lot of drama, a lot of excitement. I don't think we've had a best of seven here in this tournament for a while, for a while. I think you all get an idea. I'm going to leave the tournament boards up there a little bit. Fintech is already live. Uh, Legacy, I think, I think he's doing the slow, steady entrance. He's doing the champion's entrance. This is the old Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson style. He's going to make his opponent wait. He's going to make his opponent wait. But technically, it's not even three o'clock yet, and that's when they're going live. So, you know, you know me, I like to embellish a little bit have a little fun wilson fist coming in with the donation thank you so much let me get that up there on the board let me get that up there on the board i believe i see mr karate mike in the chat uh let's see I, this is one of those questions i've learned i've been doing the youtubes for a bit now i've learned i should read the comments silently to myself before i read it out loud uh, and even with the karate mic, the trust I've developed with him, I'm still going to do it. Who, who would I rather mud wrestle, Legacy or both? I think that is a total, uh, why not both? Sort of, I mean, I, I, you know, that's, that's just the way I think, you know? I, I'm, a, I'm a why not both sort of guy. I think uh, wrestle both of them. That's, that's the answer. That's my final answer. I'm happy to take follow-up questions. Neto, what's up, dude? Miss DK, how are you? Thank you for all the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous graphics. If you need any graphics work done, make sure you hit up Misty. Links to their Twitter and YouTube is in the description as well, but that's where the majority of these graphics come for. And you know what? That reminds me. That intro gets me every single time. I've seen it quite a few times now. That's done by none other than White Mummy. If you're not following him on Twitter, 
what are you doing with yourself? You got to go over there. Check out all the great stuff he's put up, puts up there. Uh, so many cool graphics and uh, and imaging. I am doing my best to remove the brackets because I can see Legacy is now live. But like I said, I am excited. I'm excited and I'm making mistakes over here. Say, Fossey, what is up, dude? Thank you so much for being here. Speaking of people I got to know in Fort Loki. Um, sad Mike lost would have loved to see. My yeah, I mean, that's how good this tournament was. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, I would have loved to see it too. And, uh, you know, there's going to be another season of uh, the VBC. This is just the culmination of our first season. There will be a second season. Might try out a few new things, and I may or may not be able to arrange that Karate Mike versus Legacy matchup that I know a lot of folks enjoy seeing. That I know a lot of folks enjoy seeing. Faison, what's up, dude? How you doing? Great to see you. Uh, Matthew, are you jumping on call? I believe Nam may be joining me in a little bit. I, I believe Nam may be joining me in a little bit. One of the problems with scheduling these matches uh, during traditional work hours is often people aren't available. Yeah. Uh, and then my English crew, my European crew, who often helps co-hosts, is uh, they're all asleep. <laughs> uh, MB, how does one qualify for the next tournament? I'm going to work that up. I've been saying I was going to work that up, but I ended up sticking basically with my same uh, crew of people I know and trust and admire. Uh, and I think we'll still relatively keep with that, but I will work something up, probably put it in my Discord uh, in the next, you know, the couple of months. We'll probably take next season off. So many of these of these competitors are going to be trying to qualify for that top eight, I believe. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to them. I've already started some preliminary talks uh, with uh, with a few of the guys about it. Thank you, Nick. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> the Kabam. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're doing some different things there. I do agree with lags, though. If anyone out there in Kabam land is watching, give these competitors more than a best of one, a best of three, even best of five. Find a way. Find a way. And people enjoy watching it. People enjoy watching it. I think people who are really into Battlegrounds, I think they enjoy watching the best of seven. You know, I think they do. I also get it. There's time constraints. There's only so much you, they can do. They're trying to put on a really cool event, too. I want to I want to hear more about the summit. I want to get excited about the summit. Uh, and so I think they're trying to really save time for all of those sorts of things as well. But you got to go best of seven. Come on. Shibby, what's up, buddy? <laughs> it's almost Friday. Yeah, you know the secret, Shibby. It, every day is Friday, my friend. Every day is Friday. Enrique, of course, I remember you. I remember. Oh, you're saying, do I remember what MCL's pre-ranked tournament was? Uh, no, I don't, actually. It was high, though. I mean, I think he was one of the number one seeds in this, which would mean he was in the top six because he was a number one seed in his grouping. All right, let's go ahead and focus in on the match. Uh, the Bitter and Marcelo one was good. That was an amazing one. It was so close, I actually got the final match wrong uh, for about 20 seconds, and then you all in the chat had to point out to me that it wasn't the same. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and focus in on this. As you know, during the first um, the first game there, I will mess with the um, the aspect ratios, make sure we can get it. I want to try to get uh, Legacy's full face cam in. You all know how much I love seeing the face cam. Lags puts on a phenomenal show. You know, you can read a lot into the body language and things like that. Uh, and then Finn, Finn is, Finn's Finn, right? I think everyone who's watching this knows. Just, he, I think he's the most consistent player of all of the competitors have really developed. I think I can almost tell who who's playing without seeing the name frequently. And he's just consistently excellent. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What's up, ghost dog. What's up, man. I've been enjoying the posts you've been making uh, about the house hunting stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix the aspect ratio once we get going. And the main reason, especially if you're a first-time viewer, uh, is they play on different devices. And one of the things I found is once the match starts, sometimes it feels like the game or whatever they're putting through to YouTube shows a different thing than the than the draft screen. Like if you can kind of even look now, you can see that like Legacy has significantly more on the side of his screen. I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know the whys. Uh, but I just know that I fixed it up before. And then once we start, it, uh, it, I have to adjust it again. PWF, forever and always helpful, my friend. Legacy's a little bit ahead. Okay. Once they go to who they're picking for their match, it'll help me uh, line this up time-wise. We'll line this up as best we can. Mm. 
You can see Legacy decided he does not want to deal with Fintra's, uh, Fintra, with Fintex Tigra, Fintra. That's a cool little nickname. Uh, he was saying that. Legacy was the co-host yesterday, and he was saying that that was definitely something he would do. He would stick with that. I don't think he enjoys playing Tigra much himself. And then when he obviously sees someone like Finn, you just got to get rid of, of Tiger, get it off the board. <laughs> Fintra, I know. Let's make sure Finn actually likes it, though. <laughs> I, that was a very unintentional slip from me. You can see lags. Something looks like something happened. All right. And now they're nicely lined up. Thanks for pointing that out, PWF. PWF, also, my friend, if you happen to be available and you want to co-host, if it sounds fun to you and you're free, feel free to jump on the call. All right, and we see two of the best defenders in the game immediately. Natuma and Jessica Jones. Let's see how they go ahead and decide to handle this. I think Lags might be tempted to go with his bishop. He has shown me some bishop versus Atuma before, and it goes very well. I've tried it. It can go sideways fast. And then we've got Hulk on the other side. Man, I wish I could just watch these instead of adjusting the ratio. I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get these adjusted for you while the fights are going. Vincex side looks pretty good to me. Let me know if you all see something to change there, but I don't, I'm not seeing anything. And this Hulk is just absolutely destroying Jessica. Man, I would have liked to have actually seen it. Looks like he's just dealing with the Unstoppable. It's buying him some time. Lags did lose a little bit of health over there while Hulk's still at full. So I think this is going to go to the Finn. Yes. Uh, by just, what, 200-some-odd points. That was extremely close, but that's the scoring change coming into play. Personally, I really like it. So Fintech, Fintech is the first one on the scoreboard. What's up, Slayer? Uh, I did read it. I read it in preparation for this. Yep, uh, I thought it was awesome. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. In fact, it kind of wanted made me read some of the build-in comics to it, like that helped build up the story. What's up, Beto? Thank you for being here, my friend. I hope you're enjoying MCL, also ca uh, casting this for folks who prefer to hear it in Portuguese. You can see that on his channel, which is linked in the description. It is on Twitch. All right, so we've got Spider-Ham versus Rinja. Spider-Ham, clearly one of the best dual threats in the game. Uh, Yusafa was one of the first ones really showing us it. I feel like in Tournament 1, maybe, of the VBC this season. If you don't have a good counter, it can be a very troublesome defender. you got to know how to fight him, too, right? And he's doing his damage. He's handling Rinja pretty well. I think Finn, I'm going to watch this to see. He's probably going to do a good job keeping his Spider-Sense charges up. I'm curious if he goes and lands his Heavy to keep them high. That's what allows for the possible refresh. Significant damage just from a special off of Rintra. And Lags is holding his own over there, but again, he has lost a little bit of health while Spider-Ham has not lost much at all. Throw that into the special, kind of announcers Jinx Finn, but I think he still had more health than Lags did, or it's extremely close. So the time may end up being the difference on this one. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a little too slow, even though I think he will end. I think he's at 94% health. Looks like Spider-Ham was at 92.6. Okay, yeah. It's, it's a little difficult when you're trying to read both sides. I saw the victory screen pop up. 
And it made me think I was incorrect. But no, it looks like we're right there. It was uh, about 1,800 there. So solid, solid win. Finn's on the board, 2-0, taking the first set there. 2-0, doesn't mean a ton. You'd obviously be rather up 1-0 than down 1-0. But again, if the margins are so slim uh, at the skill level that this isn't more than Legacy could come back from, wouldn't be shocked or surprised at all. What's up, Carl? How you doing, man? Great to see you. I see the hat is now purple. We updated the hats recently. I'm really <laughs> kind of actually very excited about them. I uh, love that purple hat. Let's see if there's any switch up in the bands. I'm positive that Legacy will continue to uh, ban that Tiger. Finn never gets to use her. That match he had with Andrew was the exception. And Lags does make a change. So sticking with Valkyrie, I believe that was similar in the first one. And then get rid of that that Hulk. Who, well, after seeing what he did to Jessica, I do not blame him. Also, Valkyrie's a great Jessica counter too. Let's see if Finn adjusts as well. Looks like he's not going to. Sticking with Sasquatch. Titania and Mysterio. Remember, I made that video on, on Mysterio. He's a uh, problematic. Basically, he's become a dual threat. I still classify him more as a defender, an excellent one who can be used offensively in certain situations, uh, but does have some dual threat purposes with how many of the defenders he counters are prevalent in the game, uh, being Domino and Rintra. What's up, Nick? How you doing, bud? Uh, one star. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get the reference. If you guys can explain it to me, or if you're just having fun, then have fun. What's up, Fausty? How you doing, bud? Legacy has one star Hulk in his deck. I did not catch that. Um, yeah, did not catch that. Well, I don't care who people listen to. I'm just glad you're supporting everyone involved. Yeah, right. I'm assuming that's a strategy on that too, just to make the pool of champions he can then draft from smaller if he feels really good about it. Did anyone catch, though, did he make a deck change? Because he didn't ban Hulk in, in match one, in set one. So I'm curious if he made a mistake. Because he did seem also a little disappointed as that set started, as if there had been an error of some sort. So I'm wondering if he forgot to ban Hulk or if he just wasn't running that deck. Yeah, he changed his deck. Okay, cool. Thanks, Sanskrit. All right, here we go. I do think the awakened ability of Lady Deathstrike is a bigger deal than we realized. I've done this fight myself that Finn is about uh, about to do. I want to see how fast he can pull this off. I believe he's going to be going to his SP2 instead of throwing the SP1s which should allow him a little bit of a safety net to block should he need to. Lats is cleaning up pretty well on the left side, though. Still going to have to go through the whole second life of Fury. But the spark should start flying right about now for Finn. This is going to be a race. I 
think this just comes down to how well Fury plays ball. It looks like Flags is able to finish it off just a little bit faster than Finn's going to be able to here on this right side. Finn uh, took his Hulk to rank two right before the match as well. Oh, man. And there's pretty much no way for Lags to have done that, so that just paid off huge for him. I think this will go seven. Uh, I think if Legacy wins the second set, I, th I think this will go. This will go six or seven. I'm obviously always cheering for the best of seven. I want as, as much of the good sports drama as possible. I think if we get off to a 1-1 one -one start, we're well on our way. Fausti, I'm pretty sure that's only for uh, mutants. It's only against mutants. It's kind of part of what I don't love about her. She, I recognize how powerful she is but it's just the type of champions I like. There's a little too much of her power in, in defeating mutants, per se. I think we've seen the need. I think she's still really good, Misty. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to turn this into a full uh, review of Lady Deathstrike. I think she's still very powerful. I think she's just not my kind of champion. And, and Nick's making a point. She still worked really well. In fact... Well, I'll, we'll get back to that in between the matches. Here we go. Um, I'm thinking this is a bit of an efficient throw here from Lags on the left side. He would basically have to be intercepting future Ant-Man quite a bit to handle the armor ups. Uh, there's really, I don't know, I can't think of anything special about Nimrod to uh, handle future Ant-Man. And then a highly enough Hulkling can actually end that fight before Bishop can even throw a special. Knowing Finn, he'll still perfectly dex that SP2, which he then does. Oh, gets himself in a little bit of trouble there, but gets his block on in time. Still has up those Furies. And he's, I think he's just going to be patient here. He, he knows what's going on on the other side. So I think Finn's just being real patient. Oh, okay, that changes things. Uh, he should still be fine, but missing that dex will definitely hurt. It looks like Lags has still lost a little too much health, though, for it to be meaningful. But I do think Lags is going to be a little surprised when he sees the score. Yep, there it is. He knows he could have closed it out. He knows he could have closed it out right there. You can see it. Let's see if that carries through for him into the second or to the third set. We've got Mojo on defense and Atuma. Two champions clearly designed to be good defend uh, defenders. And then two phenomenal attackers on the other side. This one's truly going to be a race. I I don't know who I would favor. Because of the node set, kind of works against Scorpion and his natural flow. Absorbing Man will handle it, though, by shortening the timer of the Unstoppable. Finn does a great job of there safely throws his heavy in. Now he's going straight to his special. Health pool wise though, Lags is winning this, but the sparks will start to fly for Finn right about now. But I think Scorpion may pull this off. Lags has got to go for the finish though. He doesn't know it. Makes a small mistake. That could be the difference. I don't think it's going to be. Mojo's going unstoppable. I think Lags is just letting us... I'm not sure what, why Lags is paying so patient there. He may regret this. Uh, 
I don't know why, if anyone knows why lags went so, um, I don't know why lags did that. I'm sure he had a reason. And, and Karen, you're absolutely right. Finn still played that phenomenally. Hey, Vega, can you hear me? Yeah, PWF, how you doing, bud? Pretty good, how are you? Great. Um, so the reason why Legacy backed off there was Mojo had the anti-life field up, and Legacy did not want the degen from his decks expiring. Got it. Yeah, Otherwise, I, he would have lost all that health and would have lost the match anyway. That's what I thought, but I looked up and I didn't see decks on him. I must have looked up too late or just missed it. Oh, he had a buff from Relic. With... Oh, is that what it was? I didn't see the 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 the. I may have just missed it. I'm open to that idea for sure. But I do think that was the ultimately the difference. Uh, Matt Hill saying patient anti life field was on. Okay, I mean that's what's supposed to happen. Thanks so much for joining, bud. I appreciate you being here. That is real. Oh, he has the Miguel relic on, so the decks went away. That's what I'm saying. Is I didn't see. I looked up because I was like, well, the only reason I can imagine for you to do that is if. You yeah, because had... he decked the special two. The dex was on, and then it went away from the striker ability. And I guess he just didn't notice it. Yeah, so I think Dark Rebellion, I think we're all piecing this together now. Essentially, it's what I think you're saying now, too, Peter, is he actually was safe to hit in, but mm -hmm. years of playing Mojo a certain way caused him to not see the interaction with the Relic, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I haven't tested that Relic because I didn't... I thought it would just remove Dex completely. It wouldn't just proc and then go away. What's even more strange for me is I think if it procs and goes away, wouldn't he then get the degen already? But he didn't. Right. Okay. Well, we could spend the next four hours trying to make sense of, of, <laughs> of Kabam <laughs> right now. Right. <laughs> oh, offensive domino. I'm so tired of seeing her work for everyone. Yeah, she never worked for me. You know what's so weird is I feel like all of us are saying that that it, she never works for me. She never works for me either. But people are kicking my butt with her, like destroying right. me. Like based on my experience, Fintech's Domino is going to uh, crit bleed this SP two and somehow fail Nick's second life. <laughs> like I know that's not possible, but that's what I've been experiencing. This is a pretty ideal matchup for Hulkling, actually, here on the left side, too. Uh, sorry, for Absorbing Man versus right. Hulkling. But, yeah, I mean, Domino with that Gambit Relic can just do whatever the heck she wants. <laughs> yeah. As we saw from Marcelo, I believe that was last night. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then, yeah, the crit fail took Nick into the second life, for, so his unstoppable went away. But, yeah, Finn's not getting great domino RNG here. But that SP1 dex he does is so nice to watch. <laughs> it really is, right? I think uh, Marcelo, if I remember correctly, pulled one off yesterday, too. Yeah, then his domino hasn't failed a single unstoppable. Uh, and then Pablo's giving us the reason why the Scorpion 
dex went away mid dex buff because it was already on cooldown and then it eventually came off of cooldown and then it went away i I had no clue there's no there's nothing that would have made me think that's how it worked but that would explain what happened Mm -hmm. and carl's making a good point uh all of my domino craziness has been in the current Gladiator Circuit meta, not the previous one that the guys are actually playing on. Mm-hmm. And Mike is saying he feels like uh, Finn was almost throwing that round to bait out Lags' absorbing man so he could place a Tuma. Which he promptly did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this spider ham's just going to absolutely destroy Nimrod if he wants to throw a special. And that's just a rank I don't think... four spider ham. Uh, it looks rank four. He was doing massive damage against Rintra. He he goes crazy. It feels like Nimrod and the node combined are slowing him down just enough that this may end up close now. It lags doesn't look too oh. close. Ooh, and we, we saw a little bit on phase going on here. Yeah. I just trying to be a bully. Um, and Chad is saying that is actually a rank five pig. Ah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Because the damage looks intense against that Rintra. There was a mistake. Oh, wow. I don't think Finn can afford another mistake here. Yeah, all those unstoppables from the node and the abilities. Yeah, you can see the surprise on Legs' face. Yep. It's got to feel good because you know you know that he probably thought he was winning that second set, you know, uh, and so to kind of get one here that maybe he's not wasn't so sure he was kind of come away with. I think uh, Gallon versus Atuma there. So it's a low sick. Uh, just back to the Lady Death Strike. I, uh, real quick. I, so I have a seven star. Take her to rank two. I actually, I probably I, now I will put it in the video. I uh, had a fight versus a Nick Fury. It went exceptionally well. I still lost, but it, it went well. I think I had like forty nine thousand points or something like that. Um, I like her. I think she's very powerful. She, I think she's just not the type of champion I like. And I think it was Rai mm-hmm. earlier, and there was like, this meta kind of hurts her with the uh, the Unstoppable. So if it was a mutant champion, that would help her get around that significantly, uh, is, is essentially my experience. I haven't played her enough. You know, I like kind of predicting things if I think a champion's going to get nerfed or buffed. At the moment, I think she's probably fine. I feel like she's probably what they intended. Uh, but as I play her a bit more, I'll probably refine my thoughts on that. Just wanted to go back to something we had mentioned earlier. Yeah, I, I have not gotten to play her yet. She gets banned all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I do agree that, yes, anything that slows her down is going to significantly hurt her from the nodes or you know, champion abilities. And mutants, yeah, she's able to just get away from it. And I think we saw that yesterday a little bit with uh, Cassie. Uh, and and the node and mm-hmm. just these tempo champions the tempo is just so important to them sometimes these really amazing players can work around it even sometimes even the amazing players struggle with it and yeah it does look like we had a band change gallon is now off the table lag sticking with valkyrie fintech hulk i think that makes a lot of sense going up against fintech uh and yeah, so I, that, and, and that, hulkling's gone now too yeah so sasquatch is free and uh, who was the other ban was it another? It was, it was Titania, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, those are definitely two comfort champions for for lags. Uh, you, you might be getting called out for saying Valkyrie, Fintech, and Hulk instead <laughs> of uh, Tigra. I'm just saying that if I could, <laughs> if I was going to face Fintech, I would also ban Fintech. It's just something I would do. That that that, that would help. Yeah, I, I think I'd stand a chance if I could ban him from playing. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Carl, it is telling. That was definitely, uh, I think, the Freudian slip there. That is how much I associate those that champion with FinTech. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> thinking we might get to see Kate take down a Rintra at some point this matchup. Because I think that's one of Finn's comfort matchups. There's been a real lack of Kate uh, oh, in the last few oh, matchups. He's going with the pig. Watch this. The amount of damage Rintra was taking has made me really consider taking Spider Ham to rank five uh, as my next science rank five. And he's relatively simple. He's the kind of champ I can play. And I guess on the other side here, Lax is just hoping to win on time. He knows he's going to take some of the Thorns damage from Atuma, but hoping he can make that up in a quicker fight, huh? Mm hmm. Although, I mean, Finn's last match was really fast and there went 50% of his health. Yep. Oh, poor cow only has 300,000 of it. <laughs> but yeah, I think Legs is taking a bit too much damage here. And no lucky crits there, but does the striker does finish it off. You know what's wild is Finn got hit again, and, and I just realized how bizarre it sounds, but those who've watched Finn enough know that him getting hit is so rare. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't think the time is going to be enough of an impact. No. The other thing Finn was doing, just for folks who aren't totally familiar with Spider-Ham, because I was talking about him being a bit simple to play, Finn's working in those heavies exceptionally well. That's like next level Spider-Ham play. I, I want to yeah. get well. Let's address this point from Faust uh, and in between the matches here. The, it's about taunt. Mm -hmm. And Marcel's point uh, that Finn's running three out of three in equity. I kind of assume every one of these tournaments is always running three out of three in equity. It's, it's just Stipsy got fixed to do modified attack. It's such a big impact. I think we all know how Bishop versus Korg can go, especially that being the seven star. I'm interested in this, the Zorian man versus Shuri. Yeah, and Finn's got those SP1 dexes down, looking a lot like MSD when he was streaming earlier. Oh. SP2 didn't work out too well. Slow yep. moving projectiles. Yep. There we go. Something's going to go to lags. Uh, pa Pablo, you know, on that one fight, you're right. I, I think Finn actually made a small mistake. I caught it towards the end. I think he heavied too early, brought himself down to five spider spence charges. And as a result, none of them stayed on. So I, I did see that too, but I didn't see the whole thing. So I, I didn't want to comment on it. But he did a nice job with some other heavies. But you're right, he can go faster. I think this is a big one for Lags. Mm -hmm. Without two of his comfort champs. Yeah. I don't think you want, you don't want to go down 3-1 here. K 
Kate versus Kate's gonna cook Scorpion. This is yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Finn with Kate is yeah. Yeah. Although no legs with you know, one of his old time favorites. That you know, won him a tournament back you now back before time was even considered a thing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean these cold snaps, they're absolutely ridiculous. Finn also went for the full uh, slowdown of time, like the like very full. Like, oh, that's a heavy. But if he goes for the next SP one, if he does it again, yeah, that's yeah, that's surprising. But maybe he just wants to be extra safe. Yeah, I think he knows that the that he you know has the advantage here. Mm hmm. And there it is. Yeah. Nutty. <laughs> And I mean, Legs is having you know, a good fight, but you know the shock immunity does hurt a little bit here. And oof, no evades on that special one. She doesn't have any anti evades that I know of. Uh, I think her anti evade is purely for mutants. Okay. Uh, special, it's a specials can't be evaded. I think that might be limited to mutants. Okay, yeah, because I didn't see any evade failed. No, okay. Okay, chat is saying that it can't be evaded by any class. Okay. Yeah, that, that, and that's what? part of what I love about her, the type of champions I love. So that, that makes sense. Turns out Shuri's good. She's extremely good. I love her. Uh, the taunt. You know what's really weird is all taunts have the same potential to make the defender throw a special, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Um, Adam Warlock's taunt feels the strongest in the game. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> um, but man, does it feel strong. Anyone else have experience with Adam Warlock? And would they agree with that statement? I, I do not have any testing of Adam Warlock. <laughs> Mike has probably touched you know, Adam a few times, but, you know. Yeah, let's see if he speaks up. All right, here we go. This is, we're in must-win territory now, obviously. Yeah. The Bans. was an instant pick. Yeah. Just that little bit of damage that you take. Such a big impact with this time change. I think Lax is probably lamenting the uh, future Ant-Man showing up. Um, he might also be complaining about not seeing his spot. Because I know he loves spot. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Speak of the devil. <laughs> well, two of them. Yeah. Spot and Jessica. Ben's really thinking this one through. Juggernaut for Fury, and then, well, Legs could spot the thing, I believe. So I think I've seen Mike do that. This is a real chess match on this one. They both really took their time analyzing each other's drafts.
For those interested in the taunt conversation, there's actually been a lot of information posted by various people uh, on there, including probably Mike uh, putting in the actual stats. We'll keep commenting on this match, though, but try to go back to that, because I do think it's interesting. And I agree that for some reason, spider Hams feels like one of the worst. Maybe because it's so important to, to it, so you're just more stressed about it. And yeah, chat's bringing up Scorpion against thing. He does work, but I, with the unstoppable, I wouldn't like it nearly as much because it's just going to slow you down and everything's going to get shrugged off or fall off eventually. Do you have any idea on how Shuri could take this Jessica Jones, or or do you think this is more of like an efficient throw from Finn? I'm. I mean, I never want to say anything's a throw by Finn. Yeah. But if anything, it was probably going to be the guaranteed crits off the special one. But yeah, took a few hits there and got pushed up. And there was that right there. Uh, beautiful use of the, was it untouchable, I believe it was called for Shuri. Kind of to your point of like, you don't ever want to fully say it's an efficient throw from Finn. Right. Just because he somehow retains every champion's abilities. I mean, this is honestly really cool to watch. Yeah. Meanwhile, no, Legs is just going over there. Yeah. Looks like he's taking his time with this Korg. Just because he's trusting in his Jessica. She's throwing a pizza like some kind of crazed woman who throws a pizza i don't know <laughs> yeah and mike's saying that two sp1s to refresh the crit shocks could have worked but yeah that one combo he took i think lags is going to be surprised he wins now he seems okay he doesn't seem to be too He seems fine. Yeah, he, he still almost got Jessica down there at the end. Misty K has got it right. Pizza is to eat. This pizza is for eating, not for throwing. Mm hmm. Finn's throwing down thing. I think this is strategy time for, for Lax. Yeah, I'm not sure what Finn really has here. Because if you think about the other side, though, in a third set, who does Lags use for Jessica? Third game, I mean. Yeah, I'm assuming he's going spot. And just hoping the damage goes through. This is a pretty unique matchup on both sides. Yeah, a little surprising the Finn didn't get up the Surging Swarm early. But maybe he's playing it you know, a certain way just to get enough disintegrations up. And Sasquatch through the special one, getting rid of that power detonation. Oh. Yeah, and scorpions scorpions doing scorpion things. Yeah. I, I haven't heard if he's good lately or not, but you know. <laughs> that's a that's a throwback to a long time ago. That was funny. Oh, there's the mistake from Lags. I was watching it just kind of being like, he's been playing this flawlessly. 
Uh, but there he is, and now he's pushed his SP3, so he's not going to be able to make that health back. Mm -hmm. I think right now Lags needs his Sassy to live. And yeah, sa Sassy's... Oh. No, Wrath did not trigger that special too. Finn needed that. Yeah. Now he gets the wrath. Yeah. Yeah, that damage reduction Sasquatch gets is. I don't know, is it really necessary for a champ with that much health? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, we can't technically make his health 500,000, so let's just give him damage reduction. <laughs> And regen to go if you don't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was enjoying watching that one. I I would love to ask Finn about it. Part of me thinks that that's not a matchup Finn has done a ton. Just knowing how Finn usually goes about fights. Um, mm -hmm. I would imagine it's one that most people haven't done very often. Yeah, I wonder if we'll go back to seeing a Sasquatch ban here. Immediately goes Hulkling. Yeah, there it is. You called it. He's going to let Lags have Gallon back. Wants to get rid of Sassy. He's just so, so big. <laughs> he really is. Oh, I should close the poll. I'm glad they reminded me of the poll we had set up. Pretty much, I don't think the percentiles changed much since I first logged on. It's pretty much where it was at. Not surprised, given that Finn has won the last two tournaments. So many chance legs probably wanted to pick right there. Yeah. But the mojo pretty much calls for the torch. I mean, I, I feel like Lags is getting his champs of choice right now. I, I just watching him, knowing him, he's he's getting his rank fives. I think he's getting his defenders. If he does go a tomb, I would might see Mojo on attack, but no, he goes Jessica. Isn't that Archangel just going to tear through Jessica? It should. Yeah, I'm a little surprised to see that. You can just see how much they're just looking over yeah. monsters the entire time. Oracle's pointing out A for Jess means no A for Fury, though. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's true. And I guess Finn does have Absorbing Man if he had gone with a Tuma. Double Rentros, no spider hands in sight. Yeah, just trying to maybe bait out the AA or the torque, but it was Domino. Bye. Well, yeah, then when when Lags got the Nimrod, I think that's where uh, Domino flipped over to offensive use. I, I mean, talk yeah. about an RNG fest right here. Is it going to be or Domino or, or Archangel? <laughs> Let's see if Lags goes for the repair. He tried to get a few poisons up. Yep. He may turn off the node there. Yeah, he did. He wasn't certain on it, though. He didn't want to bet on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only got two. Yeah. No crit bleed for Finn. Not great RNG on Lags' side so far. 
Now he got off to a nice start, but the most uh, neuros I've seen is three, I believe, and he's playing it well. Oof. He needs Rintra to throw the special, though, or it's going to give Domino a chance to crit bleed her way into the win. Yeah, but all the neurals went away, and now all the poisons oh, just has one left. But probably going to be enough to get him the win. Yeah, and on the two, the two Domino SB2s that I saw, n neither of them had a crit bleed. So without that, you know. There's just not much chance. Although Lags has lost a little bit of health due to the parry heavy play style. He needs this to end. <laughs> Still no crit bleed for, for Domino on the Ugh. other side. Domino giveth and Domino taketh. Absolutely. I don't think this is over, though. I, I think Finn's still got a shot. Mm-hmm. Jeez, he can't get a cribbly to sit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, now it's for sure. But, I mean, what are the chances of that many specials and not a single crit bleed? This is where in the comeback in a match, things start to feel a little dicey. All of a sudden, your three set lead doesn't feel so good anymore. Uh, and you, uh, you can see Lags has got a little bit of pep. If he wins this one. I think the seventh yeah, set is a total flip of the coin. Now he's baiting out the AA. I mean, what do you do for Jessica if you use AA here? Yeah, and, and I think as Pablo pointed out, that Lags is doing a nice job of utilizing the advantage that comes from the invite. Uh, we flip a coin to decide who's going to invite first, and FinTech did win the coin flip for this one, so that's why he's been inviting in the first, third, fifth, and then if there's a seventh. But yeah, this was a great example of using it well. And honestly... I think Lags can potentially still win this. If if the RNG uh, stays on the same way it was for that Domino fight, I think Absorbing Man can do this. Yeah, because, I mean, you have to take block damage, although Finn is a monster and might just be able to do it without taking a single blocked hit in second life. Yeah, we'll see something we've never seen before. But eight Neuros in the first life. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Oh, oh. He's going to need Fury to just... That, no, mm -mm, no, no. Fury's oh. like, no. That is not happening. Watch Lags' face when he sees the score. You're going to see a smile on that young man. Yeah, I think Finn was trying to get up a Neuro with that special too. That's what I was telling you. Let's just see what likes. I don't want to take away from this reaction from Lex. <laughs> yeah, I, I, see, I think I think Legs knew he pretty much had round three, but yeah, getting it there is always nice. Yeah, being uh, being a parent of children, I, I know that look. That's the like. <laughs> I got away with one, didn't I? <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, well, here we are, the best of seven. Some of you predicted it. Some of you said, and here it is. Here it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting Lags to stay with the same bands. Finn. And you never know. Remember, just to kind of give everyone uh, an idea of what, what we're dealing with here. The winner of this will move on to the full-on finals for the whole tournament. The loser has to face oh, Big Links. Man. The winner of that will then move on.
So neither of them is out. Neither of them will have clinched it. But man, you'd much rather win this one than have to go face Micklinks. So Mars, so uh, Mysterio is free and Torch is gone. Uh, uh, have we seen Torch uh, make a, a big difference? I wonder why. I think it was just that it destroyed Finn's draft last round. Got it. When Legs got his. So I think the only other time he's been used was against Korg when Legs lost a round. Yeah, I, I, but I see what you're saying. It was less about uh, the performance of Human Torch so far, more about the draft strategy that it's maybe forced Finn to make some decision he didn't want to make. Mm -hmm. And then you see the instant Mephisto pick with the Torch band. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, Lags is definitely, you know, Finn took away some of his comfort champions. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Lags has also done a nice job of drafting, getting the champions. You know, RNG plays a role in this game, no matter what. And we see Mysterio being picked. I selfishly want Finn to take Kate. He's so good with her and she's so awesome. Interesting for me to see. Oh, no, I had my screens messed up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Legs is just getting whatever he wants in this draft, it looks like. He'll probably go with Abs Man for Atuma again. Just pulled that off nicely. Mm -hmm. And then he got the Bishop for the Korg. Yeah. And then uh, Spider-Ham can handle Mephisto pretty well, though. So I think that was a bit of a nice pull at the end there. And then the benefit of winning the coin flip here, we'll see that. So Finn will uh, kind of get to start off the seventh. Yeah, the question Wait a is minute. what he's going to use for the two skill defenders. Finn had to place first. No, Legs placed Jessica first. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, I was like, oh, shoot. Thanks, okay. So now Legs' better. Atuma counter is gone. Yeah, I was I, sorry, guys. Uh, chat, pay no attention to me. I, I thought Finn got uh, kind of screwed over there, and it was it was bothering me, but he didn't, so it worked out. Yeah, then Kate's gonna finish this in what two special ones? Yeah, for sure. So, so she's not gonna get all the unstoppable nonsense. And then Lagsman absorbing man for uh, Korg. I think he's going for the win here. Mm hmm. Yeah, he, he might be underestimating Kate. Eight. But so far, Legs is doing great. Here if comes he gets this special out of Korg. He needs Korg to throw, though. Korg's got to throw. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, my God. Special. Uh, oh! Oh. Wow. Is that 150 points? I'll say right now, uh, the nerves of both these guys to pull up those scores. That's impressive. I 
I don't think either of these is ideal matchups, huh? I don't think so, no. Uh Finn still had did Finn still have a Mephisto counter? I don't think so. I think Finn's going for the win yes. here. Finn should still have a scorpion. Okay. Spot. I'll be honest, I was I was still re kind of recovering from that uh last set there or last game. But yeah, I mean Scorpion Sense really helps out lags on that one. <laughs> Oof, yeah, it really did. This is not pretty on either side, uh, but I think they both had to go with unideal counters. And then a giant ham power sting comes through. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if Legs is going to be able to take her down. I think if he can get oh, this. Oh, 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 geez, man. Louise. If Blags can safely land an SP2 here, he'll heal back up enough and I think do enough damage that he should be fine. He's kind of, uh, uh, he's missing though. You see mistakes starting to be made. I think the time crunch is getting to him. He doesn't know what happened oh, on, the, oh. on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, it just shows you they don't know what the opponent's fight looked like. You know, I, I think, uh, oh, Lags is going to regret this. Oh, no. Oh. You can see he's seen he's seen what had happened on the other side. Amazing performance out of both these guys. This is why we do double elimination. Because they both deserve to still be in this. Yeah, the, the the exactly, Mike. The last the last game here was not reflective of what was shown the rest of this match. Yeah, we go from the first fight where it was just seconds away to uh, both champions getting knocked out. Well, I guess Finn didn't get knocked out. He he tried to. Yeah. You know, is there a way for the pull up? What was left to? What would the third game have looked like? Um, unbelievable. So Finn had... A Tuma, Scorpion, Absorbing Man. Legs had Bishop, Mephisto, AA. Hmm. Uh, Peter Vef, I really appreciate you jumping online, man. If you still have more time, uh, you join me in the other channel to uh, potentially talk to you if either of these guys decides they want to join. Oh. What's up, fellas? Hey, what's up, buddy? Um, we're going to move to the other channel in case Finn does decide he would like to join the call. Okay. Sounds good. Yo, what's up, Finn? Hello. GG's, man. That was a hell of a series. Yeah, it was very close. So many of those rounds were less than a thousand points. Yeah, man. That Kate Bishop uh, fight just won it for you at the end there. That was sick. I, yeah, I, I did not believe in it at all. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> oh, man. As soon as I saw I didn't get a, a good option for the Jessica Jones, or what I thought would be a good option, I just I thought I was done. Yeah, I, I, th I guess I should have went for Bishop against that Korg. I don't know. I just feel like Asman a little bit more comfortable with him. But yeah, yeah it's so close, man. Go with uh, Bishop for that and save it. Uh, absorbing man for Atuma. Yeah, they're both good for both options, you know. Just kind of preference. Yeah, instead of rank two Bishop, because yeah. the score you put up against Atuma was, well, let's just say I wasn't expecting it to be that <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah, he's rank two. I've I've done a lot of practice in that matchup. I mean, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen anyone else take him that quickly and with that high health with Bishop. Yeah, normally people just kind of like 
just go for it, hit him, parry, get special two, drop it, and you can definitely go faster. But I I don't parry at all to like I'm at like a special two, then I then I parry and heal and then get it off and then that way you finish with more health. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, guys, this was a phenomenal viewing. I hope you're yeah, both finally right. had a best of seven. Yeah, I hope you're both <laughs> really proud of yourselves and the way you played. Um, the last game, as you both know, I don't think was very reflective of of, of the whole match. It was pretty amazing. Um, Finn, when you the victory sign popped up, how surprised were you? Uh, honestly, I was not expecting to win the very last round there because I made so many mistakes on my own fight. Yeah, but. I can completely understand it. Both of us were against the wall, backed up here, so we just had to try to get the best possible score, and that means taking some risks in there. Yeah. So I can completely understand how that happened. Uh, and also, kind of a follow-up question, the uh, Ant-Man versus Sasquatch, have, have you ever, have like, what was, if you don't mind talking through that fight? Uh... I have done the matchup before successfully a few times, but it was never against the rank 2 7 star Sasquatch. So yeah. I had some trouble waiting a few specials from him, so my timing with the disintegrations wasn't as good as it could have been. So that could have been a solo, but just not quite enough damage to deal with that beefy, yeah. beefy Sasquatch. Yeah, he's a big yeah, I thought, boy. I thought you were throwing. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use Feature Ant-Man for him before. It's surprisingly good for many mystics. I've taken Mangox, Rintras, all of that kind of stuff with him before at basically full health as well. Damn, nice. And then Lags, uh, you know, you Finn did, a, I think, a really nice job of changing up his bands and things like that. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about like having to adjust to that? Because you obviously did. You know, you came back yeah. and you won quite a few forces into a game seven. Uh, if you can kind of talk a little bit about that, the changing of the bands and then how you adjusted yeah. your strategy. Yeah, I was talking about it on my stream actually quite a bit, and I kind of predicted that he was going to change his bands when he did. And uh, I kind of actually think of that as a, as a good thing because it's kind of like your opponent's not really confident in their bands. You're kind of throwing them off with your deck, so they, they need to make some changes. And the fact that I needed FinTech to change his bands, I'm like, okay, like that's, that's huge. I, I took it as like a, a confidence booster, actually. And, nice. and as soon as that sassy was unbanned, I'm like, oh, please give me that big sassy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, this was honestly phenomenal um then you know that you you're advancing so you're going to get to sit and uh you've done a lot of sitting and waiting in this tournament but you earned it uh being the number one rated player heading into the whole thing lags yep. the, the rematch versus marcella you know oh yeah that, i'm that, stoked for it there it is I, th I think the people wanted it you know yeah. uh and so it's there it's ready uh, I'll let you two connect, and we'll figure out a time to get that going. And and yes, I saw people in the chat. I will be there. <laughs> we'll make sure that happens. Uh, it's Sounds gonna good. be it's gonna be phenomenal. I mean, this was phenomenal. And uh, and then the winner will go on to face Finn in the finals. Uh, if there's yeah. anything you guys want to add, though, please do uh, before we sign off. Uh, just one thing to note about my bands there. As like as you said, I was not sure about my bands that I will go in in this one. Usually in the previous matchups I've had against Legacy, I have had a better game plan going in. I have gone back to watch his previous matchups and just trying to figure out the bands beforehand and change my deck accordingly. But when I was looking at your deck this time around, there was just no holes in it. <laughs> I didn't find anything. So yeah. I just kind of had to figure it out as I go. So It's pretty stacked after the fourth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this was actually, I've never done, like, research on, like, an opponent, like, to, like, try to study them or, like, see how who they pick or their bands or anything before until this match. I watched back your stream, I, I think I watched back your stream with, when you fought KT, and then I also watched back when you're fighting Andy. And so I saw that you're, you obviously like to use Kate Bishop quite a bit, so I decided I was going to ban her, and Valkyrie and Tiger are just, like, guaranteed bans. So, like, it was, I only had, like, yeah, one extra ban spot. So I was, I was like, okay, I'll lock Kate in. And because I was watching your your stream, and you said your Hulk's just rank one, you know, you're gonna you're gonna rank up Silk first, and then Hulk will be ranked two. So like, I did my I didn't even see Hulk like the first the first match did those bands, and then I you drafted Hulk. I'm like, wait, that looks like a rank two Hulk. What is this? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> you have to point out I did that rank up right at the start of this stream. Actually, I oh just, my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm grinding okay. for Silk in arena, so I'm not getting the seven star. I tried, I failed, so I'm just. 
gonna get the six star. I have the rank up 10 for that, so I just had the catalysts ready to go. So figure gotcha. it out as well. Rank up Hulk now for this. Yeah, project. you definitely caught me off guard with that. Then I had to, I just threw a one star Hulk in my deck and then banned him after that. Yeah, I, I noticed. Uh, yeah. Smart play though to cut your own deck to make yeah. your own luck a little bit better with the drafting. Yeah, man, I'll take anything I can get to make the drafts a bit better, you know? Yeah, I gotta say, your drafts were <laughs> right on top of all of my defenders every single time I get something. It's the next draft or next couple drafts, and you have a perfect option for it. So, yeah, I feel like we both had decent drafts throughout. You know, I think mine definitely oh, yeah, just a I bit better because my oh. deck's just a bit more stacked. But, but ah, yeah, really good I match, had man. A lot of fun once again. Yeah, it's always an honor to play, man. It's always crazy close matches, <laughs> crazy, crazy close rounds. Like yeah, one that's... of them was like with like less than like a hundred points or something. Uh, yeah, there are plenty of those that are like a hundred, couple hundred points. Yeah, oh, that, dude, your mojo, that that fight, uh, I, I, I probably should have used Rupture, but I just went with Poison, and I had like the best possible start. I did like medium, medium parry like eight times in a row. I had like 14 poisons on him, and then he just wouldn't get, throw a special my way. Uh, <laughs> lags. Yeah, at, lags. That was tough. Yeah, actually, PWF uh, has joined us. He was uh, grateful for it. I think he's going to explain something to you real quick about that fight. It was it was weird. I'll let PWF explain it. Yeah. So did you you have the Miguel relic on? Yeah. Yeah. I thought I had a, a dexterity buff on me, and I saw that his uh, his life field was active, so I was waiting it out, and I didn't realize that I didn't have a dex, and that must have been because of the relic, right? Yeah. You did have a dex, but then oh. it went away. Oh. Because I guess because the <laughs> cooldown went off. So it just like deleted the buff. Yes. I didn't know that could happen. Okay, yeah. dude, what the heck? Lags, like we were, we were oh. watching it. I think we just happened to look up, and we we're like, "Why? What's going on? He doesn't have a buff." And then it took the chat and us. It took like a, over two hundred and fifty people. <laughs> it took us quite a long time to figure out what exactly had happened, and we're pretty sure that's what happened. It was pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, like I totally thought I had a dex on me. That's like why I was playing so passive. But then like I looked, I'm like, oh, I don't have a dex on me. Maybe like I I misplayed like. Yeah, totally threw me off. Okay, wait. Uh, so uh, I'm sure you'll go back and watch it and figure it out. But uh, I think it was yeah. Pablo who really pieced it all together with everyone's information. And they're saying that the cooldown went off, and then you dexed again, and it was the dexing again that took it away. As far as they okay. know, so it might be worth going back and looking. I think it's you know it's yeah, relics definitely. like they're new. I don't think any of us. I yeah. have encountered that uh, that Damn exact situation. Yeah, exactly. Dude, is that an awakened six star? No, no. I'm just looking at the info because I I'm not sure what oh, it does. Okay, yeah. it. Ben, you can't do that to me. I get confused enough looking <laughs> at the screen. I was like, Lags has got a six star. Uh, anyways, hey guys, I, I could talk to you guys forever. I gotta go. I, phenomenal, amazing. You know how much I appreciate the show you all put on. Uh, Wilson Fisk, OG Highland, thank you for the uh, fantastic donations. The chat, you guys were off. Like, you're amazing today, figuring stuff out, having fun. And then PWF coming in and providing the co-host. People always enjoy a co-host, and no one does it better than you, my friend. I really appreciate you coming on and doing this. Uh, let's go ahead and go PWF, then Legacy, then FinTech to sign us out. Great performance, fellas. Looking forward to seeing the rematch versus Marcel, and then looking forward to see the finals. Uh, just want to say thanks for always hosting these awesome tournaments, Vega. Uh, massive GG's Finn, and uh, I'll see you in Vancouver on the big stage, man. <laughs> well, I'll certainly try to get there right, right with you, but I can't make any guarantees. It's going to be a tough competition, to say the least. But yeah, GG's to you as well. Always, always fun to play against you. And Vega, thank you for hosting all of these tournaments. And I, I'm really looking forward to that rematch with Legacy against Marcelo. I was watching it uh, previously as well, and as we all know, people want to see more of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. People that, get what they want. No one, no one was satisfied with that, with that uh, uh, outcome or the how it happened. Uh, and I think the one thing we can all agree on is, kabam! If you're watching, first of all, you should be watching. Second of all. Give these guys more than best of three or whatever it is. Best of seven <laughs> at a minimum. And this was why. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everyone. We will catch you all really, really soon. Take care.